Lolly, I'd like to read a book for you today. Here it is. It's called My Name is Georgia. It's about a painter named Georgia O'Keeffe. And she had a style all her own. I'd like to teach you a little bit about her and I'd like to learn a little bit about her myself. George O'Keefe was born on a farm in Wisconsin in 1887. It's a long time ago. When I was 12 years old, I knew what I wanted to be an artist. There she is when she's 12. I've always known what I wanted. When I was small, I played alone for hours and hours and hours. I was satisfied to be all by myself. How about you guys? Do you like to be alone sometimes? Do things on your own, work on pro projects and crafts? I did things other people don't do. When my sisters wore sashes, I didn't. When my sisters wore stockings, I wore none. She's a little different than those sisters. And when my sisters wore braids, see they're all braiding each other's hair, I let my black hair fly. I rode to town every Saturday to copy pictures from the stacks in the art teacher's cupboard. <laughs> At home, I looked out my window and drew pictures of what I saw. There she is. Maybe I could make something beautiful. At school in Chicago, I drew from statues in the museum. At school in New York, I painted one still life painting a day, every day. At school, I painted my teacher's ideas. But when school days were over, I went out into the wide world to discover my own ideas. I went to the Texas Plains, the Wild West of my childhood books. You have never seen a sky. It's wonderful. Look. I walked into the sunset. I felt the wind across the plains. And I painted the sunset and the sky and the wonderful loneliness and emptiness of that place, I painted day and night. I worked till my head all felt light on the top. I have things in my head that are not like what anyone has taught me. Shapes and ideas. Look at those neat shapes that she's making. But I bundled up my paintings and went to New York City to where other artists lived. I walked down in the canyons of steel with big tall buildings. She doesn't have the big sky there anymore, does she? I lived high up in the clouds and I painted what I saw from my window. But sometimes what I saw from my window was the far away calling me. I painted a garden in the city. I wanted everyone to see flowers the way I saw them. I looked closely at the flowers. I painted a camellia. I painted it big so people would notice. I painted a jack in the pulpit. I painted it big so people would see. That is really big, isn't it? I painted poppies and petunias and sunflowers and jimson weeds and irises and apple blossoms. My garden bloomed until everyone saw the flowers the way I saw them. But still, I looked to the sky. The distance had always been calling me. I went to the New Mexico desert, so far away that no one ever comes. I was satisfied to be all by myself. That is so different than New York City, isn't it? No tall buildings there. Lots of sky though. It was too dry for the flowers to grow, but there were bones. I gathered the bones, big bones, little bones, short bones, long bones, a cow's skull, a, a horse's skull, a ram's skull, and I brought the bones home to paint. There she goes, collecting things. Do you guys have any collections, things that you find out in nature or on your walks?
that you collect and like to paint or have around your house? One day I held one up against the sky and saw the blue through that hole. I painted what I saw. I saw the sky and the red hills. I walked in the hills at daybreak and twilight, at noon and in starlight. I painted the arms of two red hills reaching out to the sky and holding it. Huh. I like the way she put that big arms like that, <laughs> holding the sky. I painted the Padernal Mountain in the far away. I painted it over and over again, and then again and again. God told me if I painted that mountain enough, he'd give it to me. Huh. I drove my Model A, that's her car, across the desert and back and up and down over the hills. I painted my studio on wheels until the afternoon bees chased me home. Even in winter, I went far out into the far away and I painted in the bitter cold. She's even got a fire there to keep her warm. I painted when the wind was so strong, it nearly blew me away. I did things other people don't do. I climbed my ladder to the night sky to wait for the sun. I slept under the stars to see the morning sky when I woke. I stayed in the desert. My hair turned from black to gray to white, as white as the bones. I still walked in the red hills. My pile of bones grew, my flowers bloomed in the desert, and the paternal was mine. And the sky, oh, it was still wonderful. I painted the sky one more time. I painted my sky big so people would see the sky the way I did. I worked from dawn to dusk every day for weeks and months. Then as I painted the last cloud, the sun slipped behind the paternal. I lay my brushes down. There's her mountain. Georgia O'Keeffe lived to be 98 years old. That's a big life. In museums all across the land, people see her flowers, deserts, hills, cities, and skies the way she did. And that is the end of the story. My name is Georgia, Georgia O'Keeffe. I love learning about artists or musicians. It's interesting because we all have our own point of view. We all see things different than everybody else does. Now put your binoculars on. Hmm. Isn't that neat? What you see, the way that you think about things is really special and really unique. I'm kind of in the mood to make a big painting. What do you think? Maybe I'll go get some paint out, big piece of paper, maybe a big canvas. I don't know, make a pretty picture just like Georgia would do. And I bet that my picture would probably be different than your picture. And they're both going to be amazing, right? I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have fun painting. Have fun playing. Have fun reading and singing. And I'll see you real soon. See you later, alligators. <laughs>